Hey guys, it's me, Derek, and I have something awesome to open up. I just picked up from uh, the Goblin Freighters in Ironton. That's my local card shop. They do everything from Warhammer, Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Dragon Ball, and you name it. Pretty awesome, guys. If you're in the area, go check them out. Um, but, but something came out today. It was a reprint. And I'm going to open three of them. Uh, it's Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates. I'm going to open all three. See if we got anything good. Maybe. Maybe we get something good. No. You know. It's worth a shot. Maybe we'll get that Charizard. Probably not. Probably not going to happen. Uh, next week, um, on Monday, I believe Monday or Tuesday 1, we'll have uh, Champion's Path on a second pin sets. So you want to be sure to follow and subscribe, and we'll be able to do that as well. Uh, if you haven't already, check out my past content. I've done... Five Champions Path unboxing, as well as Astonishing, Volt Tackle, Legendary Heartbeat, and a few other ones I've done. Uh, but just be sure to subscribe. And then November, by the way, November, we're going to have the Shining Star V, which is the new uh, set coming out in Japan. And it's going to have 10 packs each. And I believe every single pack is guaranteed an EX. So you want to keep your eye on that as well. So be sure to follow, subscribe, and let's get into it. So here we go. We're going to go out with the uh, Gyarados tent. Just so you know, this has not, not been a resale. This came straight from the store. Not a repack. And I didn't order this online. Last time we ordered online, uh, anything associated with Hidden Fates, they ended up being repacks. So this time... This time, hopefully, if I can get it open, it won't be that one. And I'll show you, we'll do like we usually do. We'll go through um, and just check out the good stuff. We're not too worried about uh, anything else except for the good stuff. Which, the cool thing too, is they do have these. Those do come in every single uh, Hidden Fates 10. You get a... Awesome promo, uh, and, you know, I've not personally opened up a Hidden Fate tin uh, that's been legit, and I, I really want to do this, so let's go ahead and get started. We'll, um, again, we'll go through and show you that these are not repacked, because, uh, you know, I want to make sure you guys know that, and I'm pretty excited because I've never... Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> so already. Got a rainbow red, rare, shiny, like an And another Gyarados. That's straight from the pack too. Straight first pack. How lucky did we get right there? This is insane. Already. We had a few really good ones. Um... Okay. Now this is weird. Um, so I'm used to these. Whenever I see something like this, I'm used to seeing, oh, maybe it's going to be an EX and GX. Not in this case. Um, you're guaranteed a rare and at least uh, some type of reverse hollow. So we got a reverse hollow Vaporeon and Blaine's Last Stand. Um, yeah. That first pack's gonna be hard to beat. I'm sorry. It's gonna be hard to beat. We know this. Out the gate. And it seemed like everything out the gate on our first um, unboxings with um, Champion's Pit Path. We did really, really good there. We have a Reverse Hollow Coughing. And our rare is Erica's Hospitality. Now, the lighting looks a little bit different because uh, we now have a ring light, which is nice. It it works for us. Let's go ahead and get these out of the way. That way, we don't really want... Yeah, let's go ahead and put these somewhere else because I, I have a feeling they're going to get mixed up. Um, if, if you're interested, too, um, I'm going to start giving away code packs for um, Pokemon GCG Online. So if you are interested in codes, uh, we'll start doing that. That's if you guys want to. Um, I'm not going to force it on you. 
And eh, not a good pack, but hey, we got a Zapdos Reverse Hollow and Bill's Analysis. One out of one out of four is not bad. One out of four is not bad. So let's go ahead and get this next one open and see what we got here. This is a Raichu 10. And after that, we have a Charizard 10. Let's go ahead and put these away. Disregard. My, my, my desk is a mess. It's a huge mess. Awesome. We got a Raichu GX as our promo. These are pretty nice. I do like I do like the fact how you get it. I opened up over the weekend the intern which I should have uh reported it, but I didn't. I got my ass um handed to me on it. Uh, I got I found a Eternatus um um uh, VMAX uh collector box and I opened up Jump. Let's go ahead and our first pack of Hidden Fates for the Raichu 10. Anything good? Okay. Okay. It keeps on giving. It just keeps on giving. Holy shit, dude. Hello. Shiny GX. That is awesome. And Snorlax is our rare. Okay, so first pack on each each one so far has brought awesomeness. I'm not expecting to get a Charizard, but if I got a Charizard, I will freak out. Probably freak out. And we didn't. It's okay though. We got we got a Foil Fire Energy, and Clefable is our rare. You can't win them all. Or can you? Now I seen the other day there was a video where um, a guy pulled both the shiny Charizard and the Rainbow Rare Charizard from Champions Path in the same ETV, which is by all intents and purposes couldn't be possible, but you know they did. Okay. Oh, sweet. Okay, okay. Shiny Altaria. Oh, let's see. Come on. Yeah, that's all right. And Misty Determination is our rare. All right, one more pack here. And let's last pack magic on this set. We may get something. We may not get something. It's all part of the game. That's why we're having fun. And we didn't get anything. It's okay. It's okay. Can't win them all. Uh, Brock's Grit. And Mr. Mime is our rare. Okay, last last one. And maybe this will be a um, good omen here. We'll open up a Charizard within the Charizard set, maybe? Maybe? Maybe not. I'm not going to I'm not going to uh complain though. We pulled, you know, two shiny GXs and you, you can't really get any better than that. Our rare uh promo Charizard GX. Now these are hard to find. I want to go ahead and tell you now. They probably if you see them, get them because right now they are selling these um second well second market uh, people, the scalpers mainly, sell them for $60, $70 a piece. Um, that was for the first print run. Let's see what happens here. Maybe I already see something. But... Holy shit! Really? Again? Again? Shiny Magnazone and Charizard GX. Awesome! Awesome. We pulled a Charizard. It's not the Charizard, but it's a Charizard. First pack there. We're having good luck with first packs, which is pretty good. Pretty good, I I must say. Uh, let's see. Jolteon. Bill's analysis is our reverse holo. And Jolteon is a rare. Two more packs to go. 
again, uh, feel free to check out my past videos. It's not really getting as many hits as I like. Uh, we did we opened up a few Champions Path um, boxes, and you know, definitely want to check those out. Butterfree is a reverse, and Blaine's last stand. All right, last pack. Let's let's rub it, flip it, spin it, and open it. See, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to say there's probably nothing in here, but I have been surprised before. No. And we got a Volt Orb is a reverse Hollow, and Misty's Water Command. Okay, I made a mistake earlier. I called this card Misty's Determination. So just in case you're probably thinking, why did he call that card Misty's Determination? Yeah, that's why. So we didn't do too bad. We got a few really nice pulls. Um, actually, I can't argue with the pulls we got there. Uh, a couple of the shiny uh, GXs. We pulled shinies, a Charizard, uh, you know. That's pretty awesome, I, I'd have to say. Um, I may try to get us more of these if I can find them. I doubt I'm going to be able to find any more. But if I do and they're you know, retail priced, then yes, I'll get so. If not, you know, I'm not going to spend that kind of money. Plus, A, I don't have that kind of money. And B, yeah, I don't know if it'd be worth it. We'll see how well this video does. And again, feel free to follow, subscribe. Help me hit 1,000 followers by the end of the year. That's what I really want. So if you share, I, I'd like to make my own stint in the Pokemon community. And I don't just make Pokemon videos. I also make life vlogs and gaming videos. Um, uh, weight loss updates. So, yeah. I'm a, I am had a weight loss surgery, and it's doing really well. Uh, so there'll be updates uh, quite often. Uh, every two weeks or so. We'll do um, an update there. But other than that, guys, thank you for stopping by, and I will see you soon.